But let's now talk about all of the cues that you should be tracking as we get into a fresh new trading session. We have Reema, Mangalam as well as Vivek to take us through the trade setup and all of the stocks that you should keep on your radar today. Guys, a very good morning to all of you. And Reema, let me come across to you first. It is going to be all about the Fed today. It's all about the Fed, but not to forget, in the middle of that, Ford issued a very gloomy outlook. It slashed its profit warning, and that's got a lot of the people in the United States also worried about the U.S. corporate profitability because it's not just Ford yesterday. Earlier, you had FedEx, before that, Walmart, uh, Target. All of them are warning of, you know, the inflation hit slowing global demand. So that's, of course, added to the worries in the United States. So what we had yesterday is a session where Wall Street ended with cuts of close to about 1%. Uh, the U.S. 10-year yield has hit levels of 35 5% ahead of the FOMC outcome. The two-year yield has hit a 15-year high, almost nudging that 4% mark. Uh, the big focus is going to be at 11.30 p.m. India time. That's when we will get the outcome from the Federal Reserve and whether it's going to be a 75 basis points or a 100 basis points rate hikes, so all eyes will be glued at 11.30 p.m. India time. For our own markets, as we've been saying, we've been resilient. So even yesterday, the markets gained for the second consecutive session. The sectoral indices ended with gains of close to about 1%. The Nifty had a gap up opening. It only built on those strengths. And yesterday, you had big buying seen by the FIs in the cash market. Nearly 1,200 crores bought by the FIs in cash, while the DIIs bought 132 crore in cash. So both the institutional lending their support to the Indian markets in yesterday's trade. Back to you. All right, Rima, thanks a lot for laying all of those cues on the table. But uh, let's now also bring in Vivek, who has the entire list of stocks that we should watch out for. Vivek, we're waiting by for the Fed meeting, but let's not forget we have a full trading session before that. And there is some important stock-specific action as well post-market close. Well, absolutely right. You know, there's a whole host of stocks to keep on your radar. Uh, first on our list is Triveni Engineering as well as Triveni Turbine. Remember, Triveni Engineering holds almost 21.85% stake in Triveni Turbine. And it's been a stated objective of the company to pair this particular stake in order for them to go ahead and proceed. And what we understand is that as per our sources is uh, in today's trading session, there's most likely going to be a block deal. Now, this particular block deal could be in two tranches. The first tranche would be 11.85% stake sale by Triveni Engineering and Triveni Turbine and this would be to external buyers. We also understand that the remaining 10% of this particular uh, stake held by Triveni Engineering could be bought back by the promoters of Triveni Turbine. We had reached out to both the managements of Triveni Engineering and Triveni Turbine. We are yet to receive a response on this particular query. The other stock on the list is Central Bank of India. Some positive news flow coming in. RBI has removed this particular bank from the PCA restrictions. Um, also, the other stock on the radar is Yes Bank. Now, this is a confirmation of a CNBC TV18 news break. Uh, the company did not receive any challenges as far as JC Flash base bid for the 48,000 crore NPA portfolio, and which actually means that JC Flash is now the winning bidder. Uh, also, keep an eye out for the entire tractor pack. Now, MNM. Swaraj Engines as well as Kirloskar Industries, all of them are involved. The stock in focus would be Swaraj Engines. Uh, now, yesterday in a filing to the exchanges, m and has said that it's looking to acquire close to 17.41% entire stake held by uh, uh, Kirloskar Industries in Swaraj Engines. And after that, you know, the stake held by Mahindra and Mahindra would increase to 52.13%. Lastly, a very interesting block deal yesterday took place. Uh, TFCIL, that is Tourism Finance Corporation, two FPI investors, you know, who held significant stakes, uh, we're talking about India Opportunities Fund, selling the entire 9.03% stake in the company, and also Tamaka Capital from Mauritius sold the entire 2.68% stake in the company. Two clean out trades. It'll be interesting to see how these stocks perform in today's trading session. All right, Vivek, we'll wait by to see how, how all of these stocks fare in trading session today. So thanks a lot for taking us through that list. Finally,